Hello guys, welcome to another video. Are you facing issues figuring out which property is updating your view? Don't worry, because in this video we will explore a function that will show you what it's the property or properties that are rendering your view. Let's get started. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. All right, today we are in this settings view demo. It's a pretty basic view, but it has a lot of things that produce a render in this example. We have this beautiful profile. Also, we have a description, which is a text field, and then you can insert whatever text you want, a toggle button to enable or disable your notifications, and you have a picker to select what is the frequency or your notifications. That's the important thing. Now let's run this. For example, we can insert here, hello, or please subscribe. Also, we have this toggle in which we can disable this speaker here. But if it's enabled, we can select the frequency. We have these three options, always unlocked and never. Let's select when unlocked and that's all. Pretty basic. However, what is the thing here? First of all, yeah, it's a pretty basic application for you to understand what I'm going to show you in a moment. But yeah, we have three state properties. We have one boolean for notification enable, which corresponds to this toggle. We have this frequency enum to display all those three options. And that enum is this one frequency notification. These are the three cases. And we have a, a string to reflect the description. And okay, maybe here it's pretty obvious to see which variables are updating our view or maybe not and there are some situations in which you don't know why your view is rendering or for example you have an asynchronous operation and then after some time you receive that update in your objects and then nothing happens or even worse your state is reinitialized for some reason debugging in swift ui is not a thing that i would say is the best thing in the world to be honest for many reasons first of all uh if you just want to print something right away in the body, let's see what happened. For example, I want to see if notification or description, for example, is showing something. And first of all, you receive an error here because internally this body is a view builder. And then this is not accepted because it's not a view. It's not related to a view. To fix this, simple, we can use return navigation. Yeah, that's fine, but, and in some cases could be easy to bring print, but in others could be really complicated. For example, here, yeah, we have a print for description, but also we will require a print for frequency and for notification enable. And then if we have more state later, we'll have to add a new print over and over. Becomes a little bit complicated and yeah, there should be a better way. Fortunately, we got something really cool for iOS 15, which is print changes method. What's that? Print changes is an internal API for debugging your Swift views in iOS 15 and Swift 3.0. However, it's not well known yet because, well, there's no documentation around. Even if you want to debug with command click in Xcode, there's no information at all about that method. In fact, I just discovered that method because I follow Luca Bernardi, which is uh, a Swift UI developer at Apple, and he tweeted some time ago about it. But otherwise, there's no clue about where to find out. Anyway, I am here to share that knowledge with you. Well, how to use it. Let's delete all those prints. We don't need that anymore. What we have to do is just using self, but self with capital S, making reference to settings view in this case. Internally, all views in Swift UI got these methods. And the way to use it is just using underscore print changes. Let's compile this. Yeah, it's working. And now just simply see what will happen. Let's run this again. Let me clean the console because for some reason Swift UI is still giving us some kind of errors in the constraint, but just ignore that. Okay, first of all, let's try to see what happened with this one. Boom. As you can see, I am touching this toggle and I'm seeing that, yeah, settings view is giving me a change. In this case, the change was produced because notification enable 
what's changed. That's amazing. It's really easy to identify that, yeah, that variable is changing your view, is rendering your view. So everything that you see here, it's producing a new view in your application. For example, let's try this one. Hello. Every word, or I mean every letter here, it's producing a new render in your view. Don't worry because Apple mentioned that those updates are really light. So yeah, it's not killing your app with so much performance. If I type whatever I want, yeah, it's displaying uh, those updates. That's amazing. So yeah, we're expecting to see the same result here, right? So let's select this thing. And yeah, nothing happens. Why? Okay, we are not seeing anything here. Let's go back. Okay, here is the code. And yeah, this is the code from the picker. It's weird because yeah, this is telling us frequency. It's not updating our view. Why? Remember that not all the time your variables are updating or generating a new render in your view. There's more about in the Mystify Swift UI and I will leave you the link in the description because it's a really important session that you must watch if you want to work with Swift UI. Anyway, can you figure out why this render is not produced by frequency? Actually, you may not know this, but look at this. We have this picker and we have this binary object that yeah is capable to update or property yeah we have the label which is this thing here and then we have this for each which is the secondary view that we are pushing when we touch this uh, control here and then here we are displaying all the cases coming from frequency notification however we are not using frequency value here in the body of the view in fact if I just simple use a print here and then I use frequency, frequency row value. Let's see what happened now. Yeah, we are getting always because it's the default frequency. And now let's see. Boom. Now frequency has changed and we realize that because we are using print changes. That's a great use of this function. Swift UI will only render your view if your property is used inside of your body. In other words, if you have a state here, but you are not displaying that state in your view, then that won't produce an update. Yeah, if it's something that is producing an indirect changes in other variables that are reflected to the view, of course, that will produce a new render. However, if you're using internal states, but those are not related to your UI, then Swift UI won't take care at all. So yeah, a state will work internally, but the UI won't produce any render. That's a really important thing to you because sometimes, yeah, you are not seeing any update here and you might think that, yeah, every update will render a new update in your view, but that's not the case. And this case is a perfect example for that. Even that we are not displaying the frequency here, yeah, only a single print used here in the body is producing a new render in your Swift UI view. That's why it's really important to you, yeah, if use print changes instead of print. Unfortunately, this is only possible in iOS 15 and Swift 3.0, so yeah, that's a shame, but yeah, if you want to work with that eventually, that's a way to use and debug your variables. Actually, I would like to give you one more example just to you to provide you more context about this topic because it's really important. Here I have created a, just a counter button. Every time I tap this button, I will increase the counter by one. As you can see, I cannot see any update here. Yeah, it's still working, remember. But the counter button is not producing a new render in your view. Now, let's see if we can add that counter value here.
Now the counter is here and it starts in zero. So let's tap. And there you go. Yeah, now counter value is producing a new render in your view because counter variable, it's in your view. It's required for your view to display something. And yeah, we figured that out because we use print changes. So what do you think about this step? Do you think it's useful for you? In my opinion, yeah, absolutely. It's a great region and we're just figuring out how Swift UI is rendering our view. However, I would like to see more debugging tools in the future. Definitely, it's always welcome for all development. That's all for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video with your folks if this video was useful for you. I think so. That's it for me. Thank you so much and have a great day.